Okay, so it looks like we are streaming. Um, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to work with the eye color stylizers pack that is available at tombtitan.com. I have uh, just recently updated this pack. I did everything from scratch, so it's a whole new set. Same colors, there's one additional color, a more neutral color that will allow you to work with additional uh, styles without having to do too much with the source code in case you need other colors to work with and want to be able to save them easier. Uh, another feature uh, or a new addition to the uh, eye color stylizer pack is that I'm also including the source code so if you want to have a different way of easily creating new colors you'll be able to do that so I'm going to demonstrate that as well. So let's get started. Uh, let's take a look at what you get. Uh, Let's see here. Um, so here's the website, tunetitan.com. And the, um, let's see if we can get to the front page real quick. And the stylizers pack is available in the um, props section, I believe. Let's see here. Um, let's look at assets and props. And if you scroll down, you'll see the eye color stylizers pack. If you're a member of uh, ToonTitan.com, uh, you can download the stylizers pack for free. And if you're not, you don't have to subscri subscribe. You can just buy it. I think it's only like 10 bucks, and you own it forever. Of course, if you're a member, if you cancel your membership, you lose access to that. So uh, members who had this pack uh, in the previous months, now that there's an update available for it, you kind of have to join up again if you want to download the latest update. Otherwise, you're going to keep working with the older version. So anyways, uh, if you're a member, just you know, go to the website, uh, click download. Um, and you'll immediately be able to download it. There it is. And if you're not a member, you can always uh, just buy it directly. It's only about 10 bucks. And uh, once you have purchased it, you'll be able to just uh, start using it right away. Um, all right, so how do the stylizers work? When you download the stylizers, you're gonna get a zip file. Let me delete this real quick. And uh, it's gonna look like this. Uh, just extract it to your computer. And inside, you'll notice a series of 15, um, uh, 15 stylizer props. And you're also going to have one flash file. And uh, who the heck is calling me right now? Okay, don't call me while I'm streaming, guys. <laughs> Unless I'm uh, asking for, uh, you know, somebody to join me. Anyways. We'll uh, pick up that call later. Uh, so the, the flash file is going to be the source file. So in case you want to do more specific colors that you might not be able to target right away uh, within Crazy Talk's terrible color system, uh, you can still get this done. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and go through the installation process. So the best way to get these installed is to... Uh, in you go to your crazy talk animator program and locate the props tab if you don't already have a toon titan folder uh, just select any one of these other ones it doesn't matter which one select find file and you'll have you'll have your path up there and uh, let's see here I lost the face. Sorry about that. So, okay, let's start this again. So, just select any of these folders, for example, like uh, the prop template, for example. You go in here, select find file, 
and when the folder pops up you're gonna see this right here the props folder and if you don't already have a Toon Titan folder go ahead and create it if, uh, if you do have one uh, go inside of that folder and uh, if you don't have a folder called color go ahead and create it and go inside of that now in here uh, depending on how many stylers or packs you have you might have multiple folders uh, we're looking at the eyes folder if you don't have one go ahead and create it and go inside of it and if you already have the previous pack uh, from the older version just go ahead and delete it you don't need it anymore so in this folder you're going to go ahead and drop all 15 uh, uh, stylizers uh, except for that flash file you can leave that alone or you can put it in there if you want it's not gonna do anything uh, if you want to just you know hang on to it uh, have easy access to it but I'm not gonna install it so once it's installed you'll be able to go into the templates section Toon Titan color eyes and you're gonna see the new stylizers already in there so how do you work with these so basically uh, working with the stylizers all you have to do is uh, grab any eye color that you want for example the hazel color and I made these uh, stylizers uh, a little bit bigger than the original ones uh, I want them to be easier to select and move around and stuff uh, so with the item selected you're gonna click on this um, a paint bucket tool and just click on any of your characters on the stage so here I'm gonna click on Billy and notice how Billy's eyes change to adopt the colors inside of that stylizer here's Kevin and we have changed this color once we are done updating the color we simply delete the prop and we're done with it we can go in here grab any other stylizer do the same thing while it's selected use the apply selected render style button to quickly drop that color into any of your characters this um, the stylizers uh, use a very standard convention that uh, in many cases is also used by reillusion so theoretically uh, these stylizers should work with other characters uh, uh, even if they're not uh, Toon Titan characters uh, so they should work with uh, Reillusion characters as well I'm gonna bring in Sol here this is a Reillusion character now these characters are very basic so now that, see that one doesn't even have color information so that's not gonna do us any good Let's see if we can bring in a color, a character that does have color, uh, eye color information. So here's Cherry. So let's see if Cherry works. I'm not sure if, if she will or not, but most Reillusion characters should be fine. Cherry's from the original character collection. So let's uh, see if they work uh, for the Reillusion characters. bring in this jade color and I'm just gonna make sure it's selected and drag and drop the color okay so this particular character has some color information in there so it does apply it, it has some weird effects but that's because you know reillusion does their things a little bit different um, cherry it doesn't seem to work with cherry so uh, maybe she's just not render style compatible so it just depends on how the character was built most of the standard or reillusion characters should work fine uh, but your mileage may vary for best results uh, use these stylizers with the Toon Titan and uh, Sinistar interactive uh, characters like Billy, Cleo, Kevin, Mojo all these characters that you can get from ToonTitan.com um, so here's my stylizer, click it, and then select the paint bucket and drop it into the character. You can tweak the color of the stylizer a little bit using uh, Crazy Talk's um, 
render style uh, panel. It, there's four different uh, assets here. So let's say we just want to make this eye color a little bit darker. I'm going to select Affect All, and I'm just going to adjust the brightness. With the brightness adjusted, I can go ahead and drop it into my characters. Let's say I don't want the uh, eye socket itself to turn gray to be affected, so we'll go ahead and remove that, and we'll go to the socket, and we'll make that socket brighter, and we'll just apply that again. Click on this bucket tool. Let's say we only want to change the color of one item. Let's change the color of the eyeball itself or the primary pupil, the eyeball. So let's change, let's, let's apply a little bit of more saturation to it and change uh, the hue. to the center and that's the little uh, dark part and pupil 2 is the little outer edge not all characters are going to have that outer edge but if they have them uh, you'll be able to apply it so let's say I want to make that interior a lot darker or a lot brighter I can go ahead and apply that now okay so that's how that works now for uh, creating your own color styles is very simple. I've included a new uh, neutral gray stylizer. That's this one right here, which makes it uh, easier to uh, have a starting point. Okay, it'll be able to uh, attract some colors more easier because it's a neutral gray color. So the same way that we did that, we're gonna start with the eyeball. I'm gonna choose a color maybe apply some saturation you can do it all the way if you want you can have the purest uh, version of the color that you want let's see here uh, let's go with this let's do that sort of like a pastel bluish color let's do the pupil let's make the pupil dark but let's make it monochromatically uh, blue, maybe. And uh, let's go ahead and do that outer uh, cornea thing, that uh, pupil number two. Let's go with the darker blue, add some saturation. maybe adjust the brightness or darkness now this color is only going to be applied to the characters if your characters are using that style so if it doesn't have it it'll just ignore it um, and of course if you want to change the uh, the socket color itself you can you can do that so let's see here once you're happy with it you can test it out by applying it to one of your characters If you like the color and you want to keep it, all you have to do is uh, go to your customs tab and um, in your custom section, I would recommend creating uh, your own color palette, like maybe a folder here, new folder, eye colors, and in that folder, go ahead and save it. So give that a give that a name, uh, special blue. You know, just name it whatever you want. So in the future, if you want to be able to retrieve that color, you can create your own color library. Drag and drop it back into the stage, and you can use that stylizer to paint your characters again. Boom. 
these stylizers are royalty free so any custom colors that you create if you want to create your own uh, set of uh, you know 100 200 1000 eye colors you can go ahead and uh, just create your own custom uh, props that way and you can release your own stylizer packs if you want so uh, so go ahead and do that if you want or just save them for use for your own per personal usage uh, the second uh, option because you, you know you may have noticed that working with the reillusion color system it's not exactly the most user friendliest format so you never know exactly what colors you want so it's just kind of a, a matter of playing around and guessing and uh, you never really know what you're gonna get really so let's see here uh, so you never really know what you're gonna get uh, so the one of the best ways to do it is to mess around directly with the source uh, source file so if you have flash you can open up the source file I've already pre-labeled it for you so you can see here that this is our socket color, our pupil, pupil 1, pupil 2, and uh, the eyeball. Uh, so in Flash, you have more accuracy in terms of what colors you want to use. So you take any color that you want, paint with it. Paint with it. And, you know, just adjust your colors exactly the way you need them you can use the exact color combinations that you need I can leave this white if I want my color to be white or if I want something else I can change it to whatever color I want so once I've done that all I have to do is uh, export it file export movie I'm going to call it new color, easy enough. And that flash file that I just exported is right here. So I just take it into Crazy Talk. Now by itself it's not going to do anything, but notice that it, it was brought in using the exact color combinations that I created. Uh, so what we do here is we go into the composer mode for that prop Click on it and select the vector grouping tool Here you're gonna have four uh, at least four main groups really if you have uh, additional ones don't worry about it They're invisible so we click around and we notice that's our uh, eye socket so we click on the eye socket and hit apply click on the next one See, nothing happens, it's invisible. Click on the next one, nothing happens. Next one, nothing happens. Okay, so here is our main uh, eyeball. So we're gonna click on that and hit apply. We're gonna click on the next one. We know that's our pupil number two. Select it and click apply. And uh, pupil number one, select apply. So now we have a fully configured uh, custom stylizer. This uh, stylizer, you can now save it to your customs folder under your props. We call it new purple. Get rid of the caps lock, and we'll just uh, save it for future use. That way, we can use it. Uh, you know. Um, Anytime we want. Now, since it's already been configured, we can make sure we can just select it, hit the eyedropper tool, the eyedropper, the bucket, the paint bucket, click on our character, and our character is going to take on the properties of that stylizer. Very easy. So, if you're interested in this uh, stylizer pack, if you don't already have it, you can grab it from ToonTitan.com. If you already have it, then I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, tutorial. Uh, pretty much covers everything you need to know about the stylizers. Uh, if you're working with the template, uh, with the source code, you can also um, duplicate the item on the stage. 
can select the first frame on that on that layer there. You hit F6, that creates another copy of it. Do as many copies as you want. And you can easily come in here and uh, well you probably don't want to do that. Let's see here. You select everything. So I can come in here and just make all my colors that I want. Just go frame by frame, updating all the colors as needed. gradient colors these are all just flat vector groups so if you want to use uh, gradients and things like that you'll have to create your own custom eyes so I'm just gonna do that I'm, I'm not gonna go through all those I'm gonna, I'm gonna do five but just know that you can do uh, as many as you want in, in the form of frames if you don't need these labels anymore you can just delete it that way you just stuck with the colors that you want. So you can create multiple eyes at once and paint them any way you want. So you create your different shape colors the way you want. Once you have everything, uh, you can just export uh, everything on a frame by frame basis. If you have Puppet Producer, you can go to Extensions, Puppet Producer, and it'll pop up in a little panel here. You can use the export function of Puppet Producer here. Select the selected frames options. Oh, got to make sure you select your frames. And we'll go to the desktop. Just create a folder. Go inside of that folder. Once you're in there, just click on select folder. Give it a few seconds and the uh, Puppet Producer is going to take care of going frame by frame and exporting everything for you. That way you don't have to do everything at once. If you don't like the size of the uh, 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 of the uh, stylizer, you can change the sizes and stuff. You can even change the design and stuff if you want to do something else. So if you wanted to look a little bit different for yourself, just as long as you have the four primary colors that you need, you should be okay. So once we uh, have finished exporting that, you can go into that I folder, for example, and you, you'll see that you have uh, all five of these stylizers. Now what I recommend is from here, go ahead and rename these. You don't have to, but I like to do it. It just makes things easier to manage later on in case you're looking for stuff. So you just get, at this point, all you have to do is do your, your final pass inside of Crazy Talk. So let's see here. Bring in that first.
first one. Bring in that second one. If you don't have Puppet Producer, you can export each frame individually from Flash. But if you do have it, you can save yourself a lot of time. Uh, if you want to create yourself like a little pack of 100 eye colors or whatever, you know, you can just do the whole thing as a batch. Okay, so I went ahead and export, imported everything. So with everything imported, it's just the same procedure. I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to take that one. Go to composer mode, and we're going to do the same thing. Um, we'll just click on that. Select the vector grouping tool. And see, this one only brought in four shapes. That's perfect. That's great. So we know that's our eye socket. Hit apply. We click on the next one. That's pupil number two. Hit apply. We go to the next one. That's pupil. Uh, that's the uh, eyeball itself. And the last one is going to be pupil number one. So that's it. We've configured it. We can now save it. Under the props section. I'm just going to call it custom orange or something. Give it whatever name you want. So here. Uh, since this one has been configured, we can actually use it now. Boom. Look at that. Let's close in on this character here so we can see it better. Boom. So there we go. Easy to manage, easy to manipulate, easy to create custom colors. Uh, so, if you're not, if you don't have the exact color that you want, you have a specific color that you want to be able to use. Um, go ahead and use the source file. I'm including it as part of the zip file. So, uh, if you already own this uh, uh, stylizer pack, go ahead and log into the website again. Uh, you should be able to just download the new file and uh, replace your old ones. Um, if you were a member that has canceled their subscription, then I mean you would have to activate your subscription again in order to download the update or just buy it uh, and you'll own it forever uh, without you know, worrying that it's going to expire on you or, or that you'll miss uh, future updates. Uh, so that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any other questions about the stylizers, the color stylizers, whether it's the eyes, the skins, uh, there's all sorts of different uh, stylizers that I use for my characters. Uh, just uh, send your questions my way. Uh, so if you did, if you're not aware, then uh, you know uh, just know that we you know we have uh, uh, stylizers for the eyebrows. Let's see if I can bring that in. It makes coloring your characters very easy. We have uh, eye stylizers, which you have seen. We have hair stylizers. And of course we have skin stylizers. And all the stylizers work the same way, so if you want to create your own custom colors, save them, uh, use them in other projects, you can do that as well. They're very non-destructive, so the skin stylizers only change the color of the skin, so if your character has clothing, it's not going to change your clothing colors. Um, if you apply a hair stylizer, then uh, you're only going to be applying the hair color. So it makes working with colors a lot easier and more manageable. So, yep, that concludes the stream. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to send them my way. Or if you have any other ideas for tutorials, you want me to demonstrate how to use any of my other tools or any other techniques, uh, just send them my way. Until then, uh, have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you guys soon.